Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Viswajit Singh and in today's topic will be replication of MongoDB. So why it is MongoDB replication and why do we need it? So here is the documentation, official documentation of MongoDB and here you can read about the replication. So a replica set in MongoDB is a group of Mongo, Mongo process that maintain the same data set. Replica sets provide redundancy and high availability and are the basis of, for all production development. This section introduces replication in MongoDB as well as the components and architectures of replica sets. The section also provides tutorials for common tasks related to replica sets. So why do we need MongoDB replication benefits? So MongoDB replication is an essential feature that provides high availability, fault tolerance and scalability for MongoDB databases. Here are some of the reasons why we need MongoDB replication. High availability. Replication ensures that even if one or more nodes in a MongoDB replica set fail, the database remains accessible. Each replica set consists of multiple nodes including primary node and one or more secondary nodes. If the primary node fails, one of the secondary nodes automatically becomes the primary, ensuring continuous availability of the database. So the second thing about MongoDB replication is fault tolerance. Replication protects against data loss in case of hardware or network failures. When a primary node fails, one of the secondary nodes take over minimizing downtime and ensuring data availability. The replication process involves copying and maintaining multiple copies of data across different nodes reducing the risk of data loss. As the another point will be scalability. Replication allows for horizontal scalability by distributing the load across multiple nodes. As the workload increases, additional secondary nodes can be added to the replica set to handle the increased traffic. This helps to improve read performance by allowing parallel processing of read requests across multiple nodes. Data redundancy. Replication provides data redundancy by maintaining multiple copies of the data. If one replica node fails, the data can still be accessed from other nodes, ensuring data durability and minimizing the risk of data loss. Backup and disaster uh, recovery. Replication enables easy and efficient backups. Secondary nodes can be used to perform backups without impacting the performance of the primary node. Additionally, in the event of a catastrophic failure or data corruption, the secondary nodes can be prompted to primary, providing a quick recovery mechanism. So these were the general advantages of using a MongoDB process, uh, the replication set. So now we will see how to implement this by taking some practical examples. So first go to your C drive. Go to your C drive and create a data folder. If it's not there, then create it. If it's there, then no need. Inside this, create three replication sets. You can name it anything. So I will just create three replication instance. So I will name it replica uh, replica set one. Then I'll create another one replica set two. Then the third one as well replica set three. So you can create three folders here. Now after creating the folders, you will need to get the path of your MongoDB bin folder. 
now go to local uh, C drive then open program files then inside this open mongo db then open the server then open the uh, version then open the beam now by clicking here you can copy the path of this folder click here and copy this path now open a command prompt and open it as an administrator okay this will ask for permission just allow it so the command prompt is open now here you need to just write cd then paste this link and and just press enter then you will reach here then after doing this you need to uh, run some commands and you will be all set to run the instances so first we start by writing we start mongold repl set repl set then you can name your repl set whatever you want i will write it heisenberg in my case then you need to provide the log path you can write hyphen log path then you will have to give the path uh, uh, path okay slash you need to give slash data then slash rs2 replica set 2 or replica set 1 was there so oh, yeah replica set 1 then you need to provide slash again then you need to do one dot log okay and then you need to provide the db path so by writing db path you need to give the db path so it will be data then slash replica set one okay then you need to give uh, the port number dash dash port 27018 and just match if this folder name is good then we will we can proceed okay so replica set one yeah it's good so after doing this we will just press enter okay so the instance is running now here now we have to create other instances as well using the same thing mongod repl set I then bug then dash log path then slash data slash RPL set two here you will have to give then two dot log then again db path then data slash replica set two then need to give port 27019 and it's all good so again press enter so another instance also started now i will just copy and paste it for the third one and just made the necessary changes three do pass three here also so rest of the things will remain same so all my three instances are running now after doing this what we have to do we have to just write mongo sh then define the port number 27018 and press enter so now your replica set has started and the primary one is 27018 after doing this we need to config all the 
ports that we have described here so we will write config and that is equal to then open a curly braces here you have to write underscore id and here you will give the name of your replica set as then bug in my case then i will provide the members members then i will a semicolon then i will start an array okay inside the array what we have to write we have to define three things three objects of this replica instances so we will do something like this and again we have to close the curly brackets as well so we will do this now coming inside here what we are going to do we will pass the id and we will give it a id of 0 okay then we will provide the host name what is the host so it will be local host local host 27018 it should be written inside a string okay so this is how we have done the first one we have to config the second one as well so we will give it id of 1 then host will be local host is equal to 27019 so it is also done now we will come and provide the id and everything here to we will give the id host we will give it local host mm, 27020 everything is set now let's once again check whether we are missing anything so id is heisenberg it should be the replica name members uh, we have defined a members array inside it there are three objects in which we have provided the key value players as id is to zero host is equal to local host 27018 and then id one host local host 27019 so here is the one mistake i have got it see i have forgotten here the semicolon okay so this minor mistakes can cause you a lot of trouble and also my computer battery has gone down so let me just plug it yeah so now we have done this okay so it's good now good to go now we will just press enter here and we will get this thing printed on our console or our terminal i can say now after running this what we have to do we have to run the command rs dot initiate inside this we will run config and again we will have to press enter and this will just config everything and return you a ok message and you can see here the name of my replica set so i am currently inside my replica set so now here again we have to run check whether everything is fine or not so we will just do rs.status and enter so it will give all the information related to my server that is running so the replica set name is heisenberg my port number localhost 27018 is primary my localhost 27019 is secondary localhost 27020 is secondary okay so now we need to connect to this port numbers as well so we will open our compass okay here you can paste this string here you can write your replica set number name i then bug okay 
and after writing this if after providing this thing this string here you can directly click on connect and your database will be connected and you can see it here so i think this video will to get too long if i'll consider the next steps as well so i will tell you how to connect with the vs code on your local systems as well in my next video till then take care bye bye and please do comment if you want something some topics that i should cover that you have any doubts or please tell me how was the video and if you have any suggestions or any thing that i missed or you are finding any trouble then please do let me know and please guys like and subscribe and share to your friends so that i can get the inspiration to make such videos more often so these kind of videos are very helpful during your uh, whenever you will get industrial exposure you will have to do some micro management micro services related things so this will help you a lot so that is my like goal to give you guys the things that are really required not the basic things basic things are already available on youtube you can go and check it out i will try to give you the more x x advanced version of everything okay guys take care bye bye meet you in my next video